Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the new season of Apex Legends, Season 19 Ignite, which just recently launched on October 31st. This patch is packed with exciting new features including a new legend, a revamped map, cross progression, and so much more. But before we get into it, if you're as excited for Season 19 as I am, please hit the subscribe button as it helps tremendously. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the new legend, Conduit. Uh, as I've explained in a short I recently did, Conduit is a support legend who can generate shields and slow down enemies with their energy-based abilities. She's like kind of a mix between Lifeline and Watson. Her passive, Save Your Speed, gives her a burst of speed when running towards a teammate out of tactical range. This can help her reach her allies faster and provide them with backup. Her tactical radiant transfer sends a surge of energy to a teammate, creating temporary shields for both of them. This can be useful for protecting your squad from incoming damage or giving them an edge in a fight. Her ultimate energy barricade deploys a series of shield jamming devices that damage and slow enemies who pass through them. This can be great for setting up traps blocking off choke points, or creating a safe zone for your team. Conduit seems like a versatile and fun legend to play. I myself haven't played her, but I have gone against her a few times already, and she is very annoying to go up against. But what do you think about her abilities? Please let me know in the comments down below. Next up, let's talk about the changes to the Storm Point map. Storm Point is getting a major overhaul in Season 19, or I guess already got one. With new POIs, reduced map size, and improved rotations. Some of the new POIs include Watson's Pylon, Zeus Station, Seto Station, IMC Armories, Echo HQ, Coastal Camp, and Devastated Coast. These POIs offer different types of gameplay, from the vertical cat and mouse to symmetrical combat to open exploration. You can check out the details of each POI on the official Apex Legends wiki. The map size has also been reduced by about 15% which should make the mid game more engaging and less boring. The rotations have also been improved with new paths, gravity cannons and redeploy balloons to help you move around the map faster and easier. The storm has also been tweaked with more damage and less visibility to discourage camping and edge playing which should be blessed until it happens that I want to wrath to rank up and I can no longer do that. But overall, I think these changes will make Storm Point more dynamic and enjoyable to play. I'm looking forward to exploring the new locations and finding the best spots to land and loot. Finally, let's talk about some of the other features that came out in Season 19, such as Cross Progression and Ranked Update. Cross Progression is a highly requested feature that allows you to link your accounts across different platforms and access your progress cosmetics and currency on any device that means you can play apex legends on your pc and your console and keep your account sync and updated this is a huge improvement for the game and i'm sure many of people would appreciate it is what i'd like to say however i've heard from multiple sources that ea is a shithole and it's not cooperating with the cross progression. It has not been done yet and many people are getting annoyed. The ranked update is also a big deal as it introduces a new type of system to rank up to the next tier. From my understanding, it's that once you get to the top of your tier, you have to complete a challenge, like let's say you have to win a game to then cross into the next tier. The way this would work is that once you reach the top of your tier, you would stop gaining and losing LP points so you can just focus on winning the challenge in order to rank up. I am still yet to reach that point, but I honestly think it is a good thing that they implemented that so you can't just rat anymore to get to the next tier. I think it will be very fun to see and I think EA has done well to implement this. There are also other features that have come out, such as the wingman is now in the care package and the L-Star is back on the ground. 
Also, the R301 and the Volt are now in the Crafter. Also, there have been changes to some legends to their passive tacticals and ultimates, as well as some gameplay tweaks. If you'd like to see what they are, you can check out the full patch notes on the EA website. That's all for today's video though. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Apex Legends and gaming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.